Here we are creating a full-fledged e-commerce store with product listing, cards, checkout, etc. And also an admin side where we can handle inventory orders, returns and so on. Hello all, welcome to Full Stack JavaScript channel. We are going to use open source tool Medusa to create an e-commerce store. So this is a Node.js based application. So you will need to have Node.js installed in your machine. If you look at the architecture, there is a server and a admin and a storefront and there will be a database. The server handles all the processing of all the requests for both the storefront as well as for the admin. We will first create the store server. So for that, first we need to create the global CLI. Once the CLI is installed, then we can create the server. Basically it is cloning from the sample repository and then it is taking. We are also adding the seed so that it will add some dummy data, dummy products. We can start the server using Medusa develop. Server is started on port 9000. We can test it out by hitting store slash products and it will list the products which are available. Now we can create a storefront to utilize that server. We can create storefront by default available is using Next.js or Gatsby. We can create our own other versions also. We'll use the Gatsby for now. Gatsby is a React framework and that also provides a CLI. So first we are installing the CLI so all the Gatsby commands are available. Now we are creating a Gatsby application using a sample template. The backend URL and other details are stored in the environment file. So we'll just copy that to create a local environment file. After that, we can use the Gatsby develop to start the server. It will be available on port 8000. If you open the page 8000, now we can see that the shopping cart is available. It has all the functionalities. We can go to the product details. It will add to the cart. And then once we can also see the cart, we can check out. And it will have all those other details like um, filtering out, listing out all the products, searching. All those features are available. Like it's a full-fledged storefront. Now we can set up the admin part of it. Again this one again a sample application is already there. So we will just clone that. So it will be downloaded to our local system. We will give a different name. Store admin. And this is also using Gatsby. Yarn install will install all the dependencies mentioned in the packages. After that we can start the application using yarn stamp. And since we used the seed 
when we created the server there are already some built in users available we can also create admin users using the command medusa command but for now we already have the built in user so we'll use with that I am logging in with the default user and it will have all the products. So the default user username and password is given in the documentation itself. We can create a new user also like I said. Now there are add products, we can change the products inventory or whatever details we want to change. And there are a lot of features, we can even add new plugins also. In total we have three servers, not just servers needs to be running. We can deploy it using, I mean, the, in the documentation they are given different options like in deploy on Netlify and server on Heroku or DigitalOcean. If you want to know how to deploy this, let me know in the comments so I can create a video to show how it is being deployed. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.